Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm Kurt Walbeck. You know, I think if you were to talk to most ice fishermen, they would probably tell you chasing panfish on small bodies of water around the Midwest is a favorite for just about any ice angler. Trying to find fish and then catch them is a real challenge for even the most experienced angler. Well, on this week's show, the Mountain Dew Ice Team is in Northwest Wisconsin. What we're trying to do is find and catch multiple species of panfish. Got one. <laughs> oh, look at that, that hung up. There we go. Woo. <laughs> well, we're out here catching uh, bluegills. Just got my first one in the morning, so should be a good day. That ain't a bluegill. You're on fire. Let's see if we can salvage this jig. Probably a northern would be my guess. This should be interesting on this Acme Tungsten. I think we've already had one or two bite offs. I think we got ourselves another northern here. We're just on a small lake in northern Wisconsin here chasing bluegills. And uh, a couple small ones so far at yeah, northern. So there's something that doesn't happen very often. Tiny Acme tungsten on three pound test. And this guy just got hooked just right. So we're able to salvage that. A couple of waxy worms and uh, there we go. I think I got the biggest one so far. That's first northern of the day. Still can't believe we actually got that thing in here. But uh, beautiful day out here. Um, a little overcast, it's not real cold, but uh, lots of activity. The fish, have, uh, the marksmen have been lit up since we got here. A couple of small bluegills earlier, and uh, now that northern showed up. So I'm gonna get back down, get some fresh waxies on there, and uh, get my first big bluegill. We're up here in Northwest Wisconsin. Um, around the Iron River area. This is my hometown. I grew up around here and I still live here. Um, we got a lot of great panfish lakes in this area, uh, mostly clear water. So when we're fishing these, these panfish, we're generally looking for uh, deep cabbage beds. Um, even on you know midwinter like this, the weeds are still green. So we're looking for that tall cabbage. Um, we're fishing crappies, bluegills, maybe some perch too. And uh, basically we're just gonna keep hole hopping. We're gonna be using the new Acme tungsten and uh, hopefully we catch some nice panfish. Okay, comes on, come on, eat it, eat it. There we go. That one actually came up pretty aggressive. There we go, not a bad one. On the Acme tungsten, just tipping it with a waxy. Um, just working it nice and slow, about two feet off the off the weeds. We got about two to three feet of weeds and you can actually fish down in the weeds too if they're if they're being finicky but this one he came up quite a ways to hit it so not a bad one. So uh, this is actually species number three already. We've only been out here for 35-40 minutes um, but yeah you can sure tell the difference when this guy showed up here chasing that new uh, Acme tungsten 
and the bluegills they've been coming up and kind of looking at this thing all of a sudden on the mark and it was just red bite hooked <laughs> so all kinds of action up here northern wisconsin and uh yeah so now we got a largey to put on the board you got one oh nice largey, largey huh yep cool Bet you thought you had a big bluegill on there. I was thinking this one was probably going to make it to camera. <laughs> nope. All kinds of surprises over here. Yeah, you never know what you're going to hook into. Yeah. So, I think we are working with a little school of bluegills right over here. And oh, no, this is a little. Yeah, there we go. Another nice beauty. They're getting a little bit bigger. So, hopefully, we can get some of those uh, larger 10 inch higher size but these little acme pro tungsten grade jigs are really doing the trick with the tip of the waxy so we'll send this little guy back so oh, got him so maybe this is it everybody has been on my case for years so traveling all over the midwest and not being able to catch a bluegill <laughs> and there he is my first Honest to God, bluegill. And uh, so far, bass, largemouth bass, northerns, and now I got my bluegill. Um, they're fun. They uh, bite a lot like a crappie. They'll come up and just nail you. And uh, they're actually getting a lot more aggressive, and the size is actually coming up a bit. So I think we can count this one, add him to the list. Being from Canada, spending the last 35 plus years up there guiding, and uh, we don't have bluegill up there. and you know, I'm not exactly sure why, we just don't have them. So it's been kind of high on my bucket list for the last few years to catch one of these things. And I tell you what, for the amount of bluegill that are around here, um, I thought it'd be pretty easy, but it hasn't. Um, we've been all over Minnesota and now Wisconsin uh, chasing these things and I watch everybody catch them. And this is my first one. <laughs> It's just lousy with them down there right now, Josh. I mean, there's a pile of them on the graph. Another little fella. Fun though. These good to eat? Oh yeah. Are they? Very good. What are you doing back there? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, check this out. Ah. Hey. Eh? 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 Another one. There you go. Yeah. Hey. Eh? Nice one. The beauty part is, is I left all my tackle at home, and I've got Anna's best jig here. It's just whooping her. One question I get asked a lot is, you know, targeting panfish midwinter. Generally, this is the toughest time to catch them. You know, early ice is always good and late ice is always good, but midwinter like this, you have a lot of ice, you got slush, you got a lot of snow. There's just not a lot of oxygen down there. And uh, the fish are very, very finicky. So this is the time of year where you're gonna wanna go out, you're gonna wanna punch a bunch of holes, you know, 50 to 100 holes, and you just wanna keep moving until you find them. Generally, they're more concentrated at this time. Um, so they're a little tougher to catch, you know, they're not as spread out and uh, just keep punching holes and uh, once you find them, you know, keep on them. You know, generally on these clear lakes, the best bite is in the evening, but a lot of times you get these dark overcast days, you can get a pretty good day bite too. So biggest thing though is just punching a bunch of holes and keep on moving until you find them. You're slaying them over there. Yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Another little guy. If this was my jig, I'd probably try and sell it to you right now. But it is yours. The downside, you know, when it's a tough bite is you actually will mark them, you find them, and then you'll see them slowly coming up on your graph and they're just very, very finicky, you know. They'll 
they'll just kind of peck at it or a lot of times they won't even bite. So a lot of times what you want to do then is one, if you're using plastics, you want to switch to live bait. Um, I really like waxies. A lot of times on a tough bite, that'll get them to go. Um, and another thing is downsize. You know, a lot of times we like those big tunks and jigs because you can get down there fast and uh, you can really cover a lot of water with them. But sometimes those gills are just so lethargic, they won't hit them. So a lot of times I'll just switch to the tiniest of tiny jigs. Uh, just put a little waxy on there and basically you almost just want to dead stick it. You know, you want to move it a little bit until they come up to it and then once they get real close to it, just hold that thing still. Don't move it and you'll just see a little tick on your rod tip and, and that'll, be, uh, that'll be your bite. Tell you what, these things are an absolute blast. I mean, it doesn't feel too bad. Another one. I tell you, these fish, I don't know, there's five of us out here and they're just going crazy in this one hole over the Acme tungsten. And I bet you I've caught 10 in the last 15 minutes. And uh, these things are just a blast. They're just, they're small fish, but they're just chunky and they're, they're tough. And uh, when they want it, you can't get it away from them. And the old Acme tungsten is making me look good today. <laughs> Must have got the lucky hole Josh put me in. You want to be over this way a little bit, and I haven't moved yet. <laughs> Watching everybody else hole hopping here. I must have got the right spot. 14 feet. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Ice Force by Rapala and Strike Master. So we're fishing a big weed bed right now. Um, there's gills in here, crappies, pike and bass. So we're setting our beaver dams up in the weeds. We're setting them about two to three feet off the bottom. Um, you basically you want those, those minnows just about three to four feet off the bottom because the weeds come up a couple feet here. So we're setting them just, just above the weed tips. Um, we're using shiner minnows. Um, it's midwinter, so the fish are not as aggressive right now as they would be in you know, a late ice or early ice. So. What I like to do with the minnows is I actually like to cut the fins off. So I'm just taking the shiner, hooking them right behind the dorsal fin. And then all I'm doing is I'm pinching that tail off. What happens midwinter is these fish are just a little more lethargic. And when that minnow has its full tail, it's a lot more lively down there. So you'll actually have fish come up to it, pike, walleyes, anything. And they'll come up and chase it while that shiner will kind of swim off He'll swim up three, four feet, even with a sinker on him. And a lot of times those fish just aren't aggressive enough to grab it. So it just uh, takes away some of their ability to swim away. So we need to go. Ooh, there's a mark down there. Let's see if I can get down to them here. That's the beauty of these tungsten jigs. They drop really, really quick. And that's why I love using tungsten. One of the things that I've found to do is I don't usually drop to the fish. I drop just above them and let them come up to the bait. I found if I drop into the school or drop to the fish itself, a lot of times it'll scare them out. So I'm just dropping above them. See if I can entice them to come up. There he is. <laughs> Ooh, he feels like he's got a little bit of weight. Look at that. <laughs> you know, these are not huge fish, but boy, a ton of fun to catch. This one's all speckled up. Always fun coming here to Northern Wisconsin. I'll let this guy go. Looks like the boys have something going on the tip up out there. I tell you what, the beaver dams are flying <laughs> and these bluegills just keep hitting. <laughs> what a fantastic time. All right. How's he feel? It's big. It's going on down there. I like that. Marker. Gotta be getting close now. Yep. There he is. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, oh, holy cow. Oh, yeah, muskies. <laughs> cool. 
All right, that's a nice yeah, surprise. Nice oh my. A lot of these lakes up here, we do have some nice muskies in it. That's a, not a bad one there. That's very, that's good. very nice. Pretty fish too. <laughs> the season's closed on this, so we'll probably get her unhooked here and get her back down quick, but Boy, she's pretty. nice surprise. Yes, yes, very pretty fish. Just hold on to her tail and just hold it till she's ready to kick. There you go, just kind of hold it. There she goes. Kicked right out. Way to go. <laughs> Good job. All right, so we were working a little patch here in about 15 feet of water uh, and it seems that we have some structure that we're working with and these bluegills are really, oh this is a nice one, these bluegills are really um, kind of adhering to that structure and uh, yeah we're finding that this spot right here is kind of starting to be the the honey hole a little bit um so we're getting into some larger fish some more nines and ten inch bluegills which is always really exciting so oh, here we go there we go there he is nice fish we were in a little bit shallower earlier on catching some bluegills moved out a little deeper got into the crappies so, so far so good we've caught a few so far Nice fish, about 10, 11 inches. So, northern Wisconsin, nice day out. I hope they keep biting. There we go. Transducer out of the way there. Ooh, just a little bit shallower. Another nice crappie, probably about 10, 10 and a half. This hole, they've been flying up. This one came up about three feet to hit it. Kept raising them up, raising them up, and he hit it pretty good. Another good eater, if you were to keep them. So we've got Mike back here behind us, uh, running for a flag, and I'm working a pretty nice mark that I think we hooked into something. We're here in Northwest Wisconsin, and it's been a mixed bag day. Uh, we've had a few Northern Pike, um, this is fighting either like a bass or a pike. My assumption is it's probably a bass uh, and a few really nice bluegills. So I think we might uh, hopefully get some crappies. Oh, and it's a bass. So look at that. Nice little large mouth. Just hitting on the Acme Tungsten Pro Grade Jig and a wax worm. So pretty cool. These guys always put up a good fight. A 50 pound leader. All right, so we're crappie fishing in the background here. We just had this beaver dam flag pop, right. and there's definitely fish on. Got him. Got him. Got him. All right. Doesn't feel too big, but no. Nope. Anyone's guess at this point? Oh, it's a Ooh, large. <laughs> I've been the queen of the bass today, <laughs> so that's my uh, third large nice. bass yeah. of the day. On fire with so, the bass. It's fun uh, when we can get them on the tip ups too. Cool. Well, we'll let him get away with that, <laughs> that minnow. He's halfway down his gullet by this point, so. <laughs> nice little guy. So it's been an awesome day out here uh, on a little lake in northwestern Wisconsin, and we've just been an absolute mixed bag of a day. We've gotten so, into some really nice bluegills. Uh, we just started getting to the crappies, which is really exciting. And uh, yeah, even some nice pike and a yeah. surprise muskie as well on the tip up. So it's really awesome to find bodies of water that, like this that are just an absolute, um, you know, mecca of uh, assortment of species. So it's that's really, fun. Yeah. Big thanks to Josh for getting us on some incredible fishing today. So it's just been a whole, whole day of fun for the gang. So yeah, thanks for coming. Yeah, we'll have to send this little guy back. <laughs> Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Otter and PK Lures. Man, that was a far run there. Hopefully it's worth it. Oh yeah, he's there. There we go. Ooh, this might be a, maybe a better fish. A little bit of weight, now. Oh, look at that. What do you have? Look at that. 
Now that is wow. what I think is called a blue pike. It is. Look at you can Look at see the color the, just the blue line going down it. Boy, is that unusual. Isn't that crazy? It's been a multi-species day. Yeah, no it? kidding. It really has. <laughs> you know, we've caught bass today. We've caught northern pike. We even caught a muskie. We've been doing great on bluegills and now on crappies. It's been a wonderful day. Yeah, it really has. Wisconsin. Thanks, Josh. I appreciate you taking Yeah, thanks out. for coming out. It's nice when it all comes together. Boy, I guess it's been a load of fun. If you're interested in fishing with Josh, all of his information is right on the bottom of the screen. Give him a call. I'm sure you'll have a great time here in Northwest Wisconsin. Hey everyone, we hope that you'll join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the U.S., around Canada, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. What a fish. Huh? Unreal. <laughs> we need to take a photo of that. That's yeah, unusual. definitely. Yeah, All that right. is. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Venom Outdoors and Yeti by Northland. Whenever you're ready. Okay. The trick is to have them two waxies on there. <laughs> wow. Sorry. What the? Is it the flat? What are you doing back there? <laughs> Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Cold Nation Outdoors and Acme Tackle.